In this BDR Suite demo, I'll show you how to configure backup for Proxmox virtual machines and how to restore them. BDR Suite proudly offers one of the earliest agentless backup solutions for Proxmox VE. It also provides flexible storage, instant VM recovery, centralized management, and more for efficient Proxmox VM backup. To get started, head over to the BDR Suite website and click Start Free Trial. As a first step, download and install BDR Suite on Windows or Linux machines, or even as a Docker container. For a step-by-step -step video on how to install and set up Backup Server, check out the link in the description box. Be sure to fill in the form provided for technical assistance. Once the installation is complete, open the BDR Suite Backup Server console. Enter the username, password, and click Sign In. You can now experience BDR Suite's full-featured version in your environment with a 30-day free trial. As a first step, configure a backup repository to store backup data. You can do this from the Infrastructure Backup Repository menu. You can either use on-premise or remote storage like DAS, NAS, SAN, or use your own public cloud storage Amazon S3, Azure Blob, Google Cloud, and S3-compatible storage like Wasabi, MinIO, Backblaze, etc. Next, add the Proxmox VE host for backup. Navigate to the Data Sources Hypervisors menu and click on Proxmox VE. Following that, click on the Add Proxmox VE button. The default and recommended method to add a Proxmox VE host is through manual agent installation. Click to download BDR Suite Delegation Service. Make sure to copy it to the target Proxmox VE host and install it on each host you plan to backup. For a how-to video on adding a Proxmox host using the manual agent installation method, check out the link in the description box. Once the BDR Suite Delegation Service starts running on the target host, the Proxmox host will be successfully listed for backup. You can now configure backup for Proxmox virtual machines. Go to the Backup, Configure Backup, Virtual Machines menu and click on Proxmox VE. First, specify a name for the backup. Next, select the Backup Repository and click Next to proceed. On the Hosts and VMs selection page, select an entire host or specific VMs for backup. Click Next. BDR Suite offers flexible backup scheduling options. Select the backup frequency for incremental backups. For this backup job, I've configured daily backups at 9 p.m. Only the initial backup is full. After that, it is forever incremental. If you want to schedule periodic full backups, you can enable synthetic or additional full backup options. Click Next to proceed. Retention allows you to specify the number of days or versions to retain your backups. If disabled, all restore points will be retained, or you can enable retention and customize the policies as per your storage and compliance requirements. Once that's done, click Next. Backup Data Encryption encrypts all the backup data during transfer and at rest. To encrypt backups using a custom password, you can enable backup encryption and add a password. Then, click Next. Finally, review your backup job configuration. If you want to run the backup job immediately after configuration, you can check this box and click Save. Once again, click Save on the confirmation dialog. Then, you will be redirected to List of Backup Jobs page. Here, click on In Progress icon and view the backup progress. Once the backup is completed, you can edit, check status, view reports, and manage your backup jobs from here. Click the report icon to view the backup job level report. Next, let us look into the Proxmox VM recovery options. Navigate to the recovery menu and click on Restore Backup Data. Click on Restore button alongside the backup job from which you want to restore the backed up VM. Select the VM you want to restore. Then, choose the restore type. You can choose to restore the backed up Proxmox VM as an entire VM or individual disks and volumes, or specific files and folders. First, I'll show you how to perform full VM recovery using which you can restore the entire backed up VM to the source or different Proxmox host. Select VM, choose the full VM recovery option, and click Next to proceed. Select the restore point and click Next. Once that's done, click on Search icon to select the target Proxmox host and storage. You can select an existing host or add a new Proxmox host. Then, select the target storage on the host. Click Apply to proceed. Enter the target VM name for the restored VM and choose the VM power on preference after restoration. Click Next. Finally, 
review your recovery configuration and click on Restore. Click OK Proceed on the confirmation dialog to initiate the restore. Once that's done, you will be redirected to the Restore Backup Data page. You can click the progress icon to view the restore progress. Once the restore is successful, you will find the restored VM on the target host. Let us now look into file level recovery. First, select VM, choose the file level recovery option and click next. Then select the restore point and click next. The list of disks and volumes on the selected virtual machine will be listed. Expand and select the files and folders you want to restore. Then click to choose the restore location. Select the folder path on the backup server machine to restore. Then, you can choose to restore files and folders as a compressed and encrypted file with a password. Click Next. Finally, review the recovery configuration and click the Restore button. Afterwards, click on OK Proceed to initiate the recovery. You will be redirected to the recovery page from where you can view the restore progress. Click on the Reports icon to view the recovery report. Once the restore is successful, you will find the restored files and folders on the restore location. Now it's your turn to try it out. Visit our website to start your free trial, and if you need any assistance, contact BDR support. Thanks for watching.